How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six here and welcome back to Holy Potatoes We're in Space. Now in the last episode we got the shit kicked out of us on our first attempt, but this time we are going to play it a little safer if we can. It counts as unexplored. That sucks. We need an orbit. I need a cleansing capacitor. Okay, so we just gotta look around. Okay, off we go. We're having a hard time out here, but we've upgraded our ship a little bit since last time. Hopefully that'll help. I don't know, it didn't go very well last time, to be honest. Our ships are all weaponized. We don't have enough resources to build anything, so let's just get into it. And hope for the best, shall we? That's how I roll. Hoping for the best. We don't have our healing one anymore, which is a shame. I really like that. And it didn't it didn't last. It did not last. Alright, fire the fire the everything. Damn cucumbers are giving me a hard time out here. Bastards. And I usually like cucumber too. Oh wait, they're not cucumbers, they're pickles. Bastards. Alright. We seem to be doing okay here. Fire everything. Boom. That thing looks so cool and it's so not that great. Ow. We're already starting to take damage on one of our weapons. We might switch to slot one. I think we might struggle later on in this game. I think we might struggle. We had to escape last time. We had to run away. That was bullshit. Pea shooter level three. Badass. We just need the resources to be able to build the fucking thing. Carrot. Deadly carrot of doom. Take out his pea shooter. We need to get one of those healing succubus guns back up and running. We just don't have the resources to build them yet. I loved having it, but it was amazing how quickly they fucked it up. Didn't last. It did not last. Okay, we're doing okay at this point. Fire everything. At least this big cannon only takes two action points. That's pretty good. Ow. Fire everything. Nice. That went well. We got some money out of that. We're doing alright. We're doing okay. Cleansing capacitor. That's what we wanted. Dude, we've hardly explored this place and we've already got all the shit we need. What's that doing there? Face spots and open crates sitting next to the tuba mover. Upon closer inspection, it has no label on it and no other information could be found from it. The crate is full of resources that they could use. Finders keepers. 19 nanofibers. Okay, that was quick. And that's our main mission done, at least... At least that particular piece of it. Let's do complete objective. All that work for this little guy? I'll take a look at the blueprints and get this going. Got it. The Uranium Obliterator for the Young Egg, lady, as requested. Welcome back. Ooh, it looks so shady. Let's give it a whirl, ladies. Hmm. Did you turn it on? Yes, obviously. Did you try turning it off and back on again? You didn't just pull a turn it on and off with me. I did turn it on. Are you sure you made this right? Uh, the safety's on. I told you I built it right. The power was on. I'm not wrong. I could be wrong, but it looks like it's about to explode. What? Turn it... Off. Well, back to the drawing board. Oh, look. Cammy's grazing again. They all are. So it worked? Well, the log said the contraption will release a pulse to neutralize the pests in the vicinity. That was a spudding explosion, not a pulse. Oh, my spud. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You saved my farm. You saved my galaxy. Now I just have to do the same with this uranium obliterator across the rest of the galaxy. Grandpa would have been so proud of me. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't help but overhear earlier about your grandpa. But look, I was going through more of my logs and I found this. GG. It is him. 
That's my grandpa. And I guess that makes the potato beside him yours. Well, I guess it was a time when he had hair that wasn't grey. I don't know what happened between you two. But family's family, right? I know I wish my last words to my grandpa weren't, I hate you. Because I didn't, and I don't. But those were my last words to him. <sighs> but you don't. He's somewhere out there, right? Go find him and ask him. I'm sorry, Michelle. And thank you. Really. I'm sorry about earlier, Faye. You're right. I don't know why he ended up with the Eclipse. But we're sure as hell gonna find out. That's my girl. Let's go get some answers. Alright. Well, that went surprisingly easily. We're done here. But we've got quite a lot of time to kill, so... Let's do some more exploring, shall we? Gotta try and get as much resources as we can while we're here. Terra. Interesting. Let's go. We got quite a lot of soul left. So we are going to make the most out of it. Fire! Whoa! Take that! You got wrecked! Hey! Calm yourself. That's the problem with the pea shooters though, even though they're accurate, high damage, high critical, they have low HP so they go down real easy. Although most of the weapons seem to do that. Most of the weapons go down super easy. Which is unfortunate. Fire everything! Boom! You're done. Next! That's another thousand? Damn, we're making some money out here now. Eviscerator level 3. We're not scared, we're shaking with determination! What is this? Is it like the succubus? It looks the same as the succubus, but it's not a healer. Interesting, I've never seen that weapon before. Let's try and destroy it. Target mark. What does that do? Drops evasion. Put our shields on slot 3. Even though I don't particularly like that gun very much, it is getting damaged and I want to protect all our resources if we can. And we're doing fine out here. Considering the last time we got fucked up, we're not having too much trouble this time. That was too many misses though. Too many misses. Slot 1. Protect slot 1, it's more important than slot 3. Fire! That did it. Off you go. The Apollo level 3. We've got so much stuff to build and so little resources to build it. Oh, well, that's a weird one. Is that a bow? The Robbing Hood. Starch Thief. Gain one starch per damage dealt. Dude, that's so good. Dude, I want it. I want it so bad. That's so good. Holy crap, it's good. We need that, because we would have tons of money then. Because the thing does like... 50 odd damage or something, is it? 96 to 118, it does heaps of damage. And that would all turn into money. That's badass. I want it. We're in trouble. At this rate we're going to lose a weapon. Fire! Nice! Incoming! Fuck it! Fire on him! That was the weapon that wasn't even damaged, so... Dude, stop killing my weapons! This is going badly! You know how I said this is going well and we wouldn't have to run away anymore? I think we're gonna have to run away. But not without this weapon. God damn. Please. Just die, would you? Incoming. It didn't seem to do any damage. That's good. Our hull's really, really weakened, though. Can we have no more fights, please? I don't want any more fights right now. Oh, really? 
I don't think we can do this. I'm not gonna give up though. Fire! Nice, a crit! But do a barrel roll on. I think that's our first time using a special ability. If we do do a barrel roll, maybe we can stop ourselves from taking any more damage. Dude, we're in a bad way. We are in a bad way. No, really? I needed you to hit that more than anything. And then you're like, oh no, we'll just miss. Fire! Oh, e oh Jesus fucking Christ. This is horse malarkey. We have to go. I don't know the emergency code. Password 3. Execute. Nice. God damn, why are we so weak? So it still doesn't count as complete, right? God damn. Can we build that weapon at least? I want it. We sure can. Alright, I guess we're going back to the hub to try and lick our wounds or something. We're wasting so much time though. Holy balls. Alright. We got that weapon up and running. That's good. Load that up. Uh, what do we want? You. You can pilot that. I need another weapon, please. We don't have enough for anything I really actually want. Is this any good? Who knows. Let's build it. Alright. Back to the hub. C class. Okay. Is that any good? What kind of damage can that do? 36 to 70. 30% chance to expose. Accuracy is 60%. That's craptastic. Yeah, that's balls. 60%. I want this. I want another succubus. We need 27. Let's go buy some more of that stuff. We need 9. 9 plasma. And we'll sell some crap here. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Keep the rest. I need plasma, please. Nine. Nine. Good. What's this, crew? Yeah, I don't need crew. I'm fine for crew. What upgrades can we get right now? Maybe we can get the training room level two. That'd make them better. So our crew kind of suck us. Now we'll head here. We'll get you building the succubus. And now we will travel again and see if we can actually successfully complete something. I don't particularly like our chances, but... Trying. We gotta try. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're fully loaded up with weapons again. Let us explore. We got a lot of soul to keep trying, but Jesus, it's just going so badly. So badly. I think we should always fire the uh, succubus. Well, not now, because we haven't got any damage. On our ship at all, but after the first one, we should just continually fire the succubus all the time to make sure we're getting health back every turn. Oh, we're getting, um, we're gonna get a lot of extra money from it, too. Fire the succubus and fire the robbing hood. Nice. 
Get our health back and get some extra money. I feel like that's kind of a broken ability, but then I guess I could just break. I could just break my fucking arrow, bow and arrow. It's not super sturdy or anything. Okay, we're doing okay. Health-wise, the succubus is keeping our health up reasonably well. Nice. How much bonus money do we earn? I don't know, but we should make we should be able to make a ton of money like this. I think. Hey, look, they've got another one. That's awesome. I want it. Just keep our healing up. Fire. It's good accuracy, it does good damage. <clears throat> it's as good as the pea shooter, except it makes you extra fucking money. It's so good. I don't know what his crit's like. What's its crit? 26. So its crit's better as well. That's ridiculous. It seems quite sturdy too for health. Like his one's taking ages to kill. It's got my house has got 519 health. That's ridiculous amounts of health. Come on, die, would you? We're so inaccurate. That's our biggest problem. All our attacks miss. Well, not all of them, but you know what I mean. We miss a fuckload, like fuckloads. Nice. Break a shield and everything. I feel like we should keep the shield on the succubus, because it can keep everything else healed. As long as we keep that alive, it can keep everything else alive. <coughs> <coughs> Makes sense to me anyway. Fire! I'm enjoying our lineup of new weapons. Very much, in fact. And they are targeting the succubus specifically, probably because they don't want me to keep healing. That makes sense. <laughs> See how many of those missed that? The succubus is the only one that landed that hit. My god, they broke our shield. What are the odds? Fucking kill it already! We got three guns firing at it. There we go. Off you go then. Alright, well we can put another Robin Hood on. Take that pea shooter off. Then we'll have two earning us bonus money. That'd be fucking ridiculous. Cassie, we got a trade request. Patching in the transmission. Hey, Captain, we're in severe need of nanofibers and antimatter. We'll even give you more ore than you'll give us. Ah. You have an offer? Six nanofibers and six antimatter for 14 ore. Pretty good deal if I say so myself. How about it? Uh, well. I don't have any antimatter, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Um... Yeah, okay, whatever. Excellent, I'll send my crew in with our goods to collect the materials from you. Thanks for the business. Cool. Whatever. I like to make friends. Do what people... Do nice things for people. You know. Fire! I can't wait to get a second Robin Hood on this thing. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna make so much money. And it's so accurate, compared to the others. Ow. Not nice. We just lost accuracy, which is really, really what we don't need, because we're already la lacking in accuracy. We even got a crit there. With the succubus, I think it was. Fire everything. Fire a full barrage. And everything missed except one. The succubus again. Which seems to have 100% accuracy, it never seems to miss. What do we got here? Accuracy... 105%, okay, yeah. It doesn't miss. Good. We need something that doesn't miss. Excellent. Shields go down, weapon goes bye-bye. Full barrage. Fire everything! God damn. 
Maybe we should just have three succubuses on it. We'll keep our health up and even though they do low damage, they don't fucking miss all the time. Because that's frustrating, man. Nice. Off you go then. Hey, I like our new setup. I really like our new setup. Another pickle, man. Dude, there's so many enemies in this place, it's ridiculous. We're fighting enemy after enemy after enemy here. Fire. Nice. Health-wise, all of our turrets are doing okay. They're not great, but they're okay. All thanks to the succubus, really, keeping everybody going. They're starting to wear us down, though, to be honest. Now we can fire all three weapons. Fire everything. Let him have it. Nice. Hard to hard press to decide whether I want another succubus or another Robin Hood. Robin Hood's better for damage, but the succubus doesn't miss. I don't know. Feel like we need to switch that back to ha, slot one. Protect that for a bit, because that's getting very low. Okay, switch it to slot 2, protect the Robin Hood now. That's way more important to protect. Fire everything. Let him have it. Nice. We're fine. Keep firing. Excellent. You stole one start. Awesome. Are we done? Succubus level 3. Dude, we want that too. That'd be badass. Ours is only level 2. Made nearly 10 grand in that run. Dude. Alright, let's get another Robin Hood built. Where is it? There. Do we have the resources for it? We do. Excellent. Oh, we're going to be rolling in the cash, yeah? We got 11 souls left. That's quite a while. Are we going to travel here? Our hull's pretty damaged. Like, pretty damaged. We'll go back to the hub. I'm kind of being a pansy at the moment. I just don't want to get killed, alright? And I really like our setup. I'd like to keep it going. Nice. An A-class one. Guess we don't need the pea shooters anymore. What is this? 106 to 130. Dude, that's even better. Now, can we build the level 3 succubus? I assume we don't have the resources for that. Takes 35 plasma, which we are completely out of. But we'll hang on to that. We'll sell the rest. Sell this. Might sell the pea shooter plans, but I'll hang on to that one pea shooter just in case I need it. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. Well, with a few soul left, I think we should keep traveling, even if we're not doing very well. Have we explored that yet? No. 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 We haven't explored anything. Okay, great. Let's hit this one. I'm pretty sure this is the one we ran away from. We can hit it again. That's all good. We get a bit of money at least. Like, we're playing it safe. I'm playing it very safe. But we're making good money out here. We got 20 grand now. Alright. You might have been too strong for us before. But now, now you will pay. Fire! One miss and one hit. Okay. I can live with that, I guess. Fire! Alright, healer, keep us healed. 226 starch, that's good. Slot 1's taking damage already. We should be okay, but it is taking damage. 
God damn. With 90% accuracy, how do you keep missing so much? I don't get it. I don't understand. Fire everything. God damn. More missing? They don't seem to miss very much. Why the hell are we missing so much? Pull your fingers out. Start firing. Start hitting. Start killing stuff. Off you go. Moving on. There's more to be killed. These bow and arrows look badass too. This is a distress signal. It's a cargo ship. They're stranded and asking for help. Oh, we've done this before. Send them ore. How many times have we done that already? Some of the some of the uh, quest things do come up kind of often, kind of very very often. It's kind of annoying. Dude, you got enough charge to fire both at once. First turn, that ain't cool. Okay, we're fine. Health wise, we're looking very good. Nice. That's a good crit right there. Keep firing. Ah, oh, goddamn. So that crit last turn makes up for the fact that you're going to miss this turn. Okay. I get it. I understand. Fucking hell. Because he's got a succubus that's healing itself. It's really hard to finish it off. Our slot 2 weapon's taking some damage out there. The longer it lasts, the more money we'll make, I guess. Oh, so on a miss, we steal one start. Great. Better than nothing. Fire everything. It'll improve our chances of actually hitting something. Not really. Apparently not. <laughs> we still missed everything, pretty much. Great. Oh, well, they can't seem to kill us or hurt us. We can't seem to kill him either. Neither of us can hurt each other. Though our hull is starting to get worn away pretty badly. We're definitely at the lower end here. We're the ones taking all the damage out here. Even if it doesn't look like anyone's getting anywhere, we are getting hurt. Quite badly hurt, in fact. Fire! It's because I'm not guarding my hull, though. I'm not protecting our hull at all. Okay. The rest should be easy now that their succubus is gone. In fact, we might even get some health back in this. And like I said, the longer the fight lasts, the more money we're going to steal. Which is good for us. Keep firing. Looks like we're getting some hull integrity back. Which is nice. Fire everything. That should do it. Yes. Off you go. Another succubus level 3. No wonder it was so hard to kill the bastard. What do we got? Hmm? Cassie spots a sheet of paper lying forgotten on the floor of the hub. Unnoticed by others. Her fingers itch to pick it up and see what it is. Pick it up. Cassie dives to the paper and enthusiastically opens it to see what it is. Oh, it's just a blueprint. Must be that damn cat stealing stuff again. I guess I'll bring it back to the workshop. Receive weapon part. Feeding frenzy level 3. That sounds cool. Never heard of that one. There's so many varieties of weapons in the game. Like a fuck ton of variety. Might shift our... Shield back to the hull for now. It seems safer. Now Succubus is doing a pretty good job keeping everything alive. I really, really want to build the level 3 one though. Although it just, it'll just it just take more charge to be able to fire it then. That's the problem. As they get better, they cost more and more to fire. And we haven't had enough time keeping our charge up as it is. Ouch. Our weapons are starting to take damage out here. This should be the last one, though. 
Fucking miss. Alright. They're hurting. We are hurting. But we should be fine. Keep firing. There we go. That'll even things up a bit. Those ones actually really nasty. AoE damage like that. Very nasty. Keep going. Nice. Got a crit there. Jesus, we need to protect slot one now. We are getting hurt. But this is the last round, so we're good. Nice. Off you go. Are you serious? I thought we were done. Wait, don't go there. It's dangerous to go alone. What? Who? Casey looks around and spots a large box attached to a post. The voice comes from a speaker attached to the box. I'm Professor Codifer. Wild Potemon lurking tall grass, you see. You need to have a Potemon of your own to protect you. Potemon? Tall grass? What the spud are you talking about? Here, I have a few Potemon, you can pick one. A panel on the box opens up and three small coloured balls roll out. The balls open up and three strange creatures hop out of the balls onto the ground before Cassie and Faye. Aww, they're so cute! What? How did they fit in there? These three Potemon are Brocosaur, Squiturnip, and Chilimander. Go on, pick one. I'll have to pick Chilimander, of course. Chilimander strides forward confidently, roaring cutely. Cassie happily tickles its belly. The other two creatures are absorbed back into the balls. Faye picks up one of the balls and stares at it incredulously. What? It's a Chilimander. It will protect you as you travel the world and train to become the best Pokemon trainer. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Wait, what? Pokemon trainer? We never said we wanted to be this Pokemon trainer thing. The voice from the speaker fades away, leaving the Chilimander behind. Cassie looks at Faye, her eyes big and round, the Chilimander in her arms. Can we keep it? Please, 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 please. Face size and face palms. Red potable, plus one. Yes! We got a chili mander. Okay, so I've had that quest line start once before, <laughs> and I was just hoping it was going to pop up again. I picked the chili mander last time too, that's awesome. Alright, well, we've still got eight souls left, but we are too deep into this episode to finish it now, so we'll come back and finish up this system next time. I know that uh, episode was a bit uh, runny away -y. Everything went quite badly. It was very, very bad. It all went very badly, to be honest. But anyway, hopefully it goes better next time. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.